So whenever Soundcore releases new products, I honestly get very excited because they don't come out with new products every other week and when they do launch new products, it's often something really special and really amazing and well thought out. And this time around, Soundcore is launching two new Space Series products, one headphones and one earbud. So the headphones today were sent over to me by Soundcore for review and although these were sent over to me, no money has exchanged hands and this review is based on my honest and unbiased opinion. So the Soundcore Space Q45 ANC headphones retails for a very nicely priced 149 US dollars or about 665 Malaysia ringgit. Needless to say, compared to the more expensive Sony WH-1000XM5, these are honestly a no-brainer when it comes to price competitiveness and I think Soundcore definitely has an edge here over the Sony's. So if you're interested in buying these headphones, please check out my links in the description below. So the design of the Q45 is how modern headphones should be designed. Everything about their design is high-end, very pretty premium feeling and I'm honestly a fan of beautiful high quality products. The entire headphones is made of a plastic build and I like the fact that although they are plastic, they are not just some like regular cheapo plastic and they feel really premium, smooth to the touch and actually feels like metal. So starting with the headband itself, you're going to get this brushed metal headband and a leatherette foam pad at the bottom and although the foam pad here isn't memory foam and doesn't feel too padded, it doesn't feel pain when it's resting on my head and the band also gives a very nice stretch without feeling like it's going to break so if you have a big head like me stretching it is no problem so moving down the arm soundcore uses a pretty innovative design here for the arm extension it's nothing too new and although it's unlike the sony xm5 where you have the seamless metal rod over here that extends the entire arm of the headphones here extends out and leaves the seamless brush metal look at the top which is really nice so this part actually extends and you can see the brush metal portion here extends and the rest of the headphone looks pretty much the same. So regardless at what level or extension you use, these are still going to look very uniform, which is nice. So at the side of the arm, you're also going to get a super stealthy sound core branding, very subtle and looks very classy. And moving down to the ear cups, again, the branding here is minimal and with a stealthy gloss sound core branding here uh, and the Space Series design here, which also helps to identify that that's the left side. So only the left side has the Space Series branding there. And the earmuffs here is memory foam and it's very soft and comfortable to your ears but they do get hot after a while which is very common for headphones like this so in terms of the clamping force it doesn't feel very tight at all and very lightly grabs onto your head giving you a nice tight seal without the discomfort and the earmuffs is also big enough to engulf my entire ears without it pressing on any parts of my ears so controls on the Q45 is pretty straightforward and you do get to control all of your media with these headphones and because they use buttons it's very easy to find very easy to use so you don't have to go and fumble around and find it on your headphone. So on the left side, you're going to get your power on or off button and above that, you're also going to get an NC button which is noise cancellation. Uh, so here you can toggle it between ANC, transparency and ANC off. On the right side, you're going to get your volume rocker which also acts as track skipping and also a play or pause button at the bottom here. So in terms of the ports, on the left side, you're going to get your Type-C charging port to quickly charge up the headphones and on the right side, you're going to get a 3.5mm auxiliary jack so you can use these headphones plugged in and Soundcore also provides you with the cables in a box albeit a very basic cable. Battery life is also extremely impressive here and comparing it to the competition in its class which are way above its price point, the Q45 still performs the best. With ANC on, you're gonna get a whopping 50 hours of playback time which is typical to most headphones battery life without ANC and with ANC off, you're gonna get a nice 65 hours of playtime which is enough for a whole week of listening. Also, if you ever run out of juice, a quick 5 minutes charge will give you about 4 hours of playback time without ANC 
and C. So that is extremely helpful if you run out of juice in a plane. So a quick charge and a trip to the toilet will top it up quite a bit and it's enough for your, the rest of your flight. The Q45s have a comfortable listening volume of about 35% and at around 50% it's decently loud but you can still get plenty more range to spare. At 80% it's loud but it doesn't feel annoyingly loud funnily and I can actually still listen to it for a long time. But at about 90% it's too loud for me and I wouldn't listen to music at that level usually. So with this range you can see that Soundcore does optimize the range very well and the volume at each percentage level really does represent its true volume which is really nice. So as a modern headphones the Q45 really comes with a whole set of features that more than justifies its price and I think many companies should take note and following Soundcore's concept. So to start with we're going to get the latest Bluetooth 5.3 so you know you have a headphone that is future proof and since it's a high res wireless certified headphones you're going to get LDAC codec as well as AAC and SBC. So you can stream music at very high resolution at about 990 kbps at 32 bits. Like most headphones in this class there is no water resistant rating but then again we're not bringing these headphones to the gym or run with them so they don't necessarily require a water resistant design. So Soundcore provides you with a 40 millimeter dynamic driver which Soundcore markets them as double layer metal ceramic diaphragm which seems like a fancy driver and in practice it really does sound pretty nice. And also this headphone supports multi-point support as well so you can conveniently connect two devices together and swap between them seamlessly. So I like how consistent Soundcore makes their app at least from a base functionality standpoint however some of their earbuds do come with additional features in app such as sleep and meditation features which would really be nice to have here as well so you can use them in the plane. So at the first place you're going to get the Space Q45 image and next to that you're going to get a battery level but it would be good if the battery percentage could also be displayed on the side as that would be more accurate since it's just a beta app hopefully this can be added by Soundcore later on. Below that you're going to get your ambient sound control and here you're going to be able to toggle for noise cancellation, normal mode as well as your transparency mode and Soundcore gives you five different levels of ANC to choose from so you can click into modes and here you can either choose to have adaptive noise cancellation or whether to have custom noise cancellation and you get five different levels to choose from uh, depending on your situation or sometimes you do like to have maximum ANC all the time can just leave it at five or you want it to automatically decide then choose adaptive. Uh, if you go into transparency mode you also get different levels of transparency to choose from so you can either have your talk mode which lowers your music volume so you can focus on talking uh, when in talk mode volume is reduced to about a fixed 20% regardless of what level of volume you were at earlier. So here you also get to choose your custom transparency mode if you like maximum transparency all the time when you toggle it then you can just leave it at 5 or you can also scroll it down all to 1 if let's say you are usually not in such a noisy environment because it does amplify it quite a bit. So below there you're going to get a safe volume feature here that lets you see your headphones volume in real time uh, whatever you're playing and tells you how loud they are and whether it's bad for your ears. So here you can decide whether or not you want your decibel readings to be real time 10 seconds interval or 1 minutes interval and here you can also set your limit a uh, high volume so if let's say you don't want your headphones to suddenly burst out too loud depending on the volume you can set the limit there. Next to that you're going to be able to remap your controls and here there aren't really a lot of things to choose from and under here you're just going to get to change one item which is the NC button. So here you can set uh, what you do with the press once and press twice feature and it's really not a lot but the control itself is already really complete and comprehensive on the headphones itself so there's no need for any specific changes. So under press once you can either decide your ambient sound to have normal mode or not or you know whichever that you like to uh, and press twice here you can either choose bass up or nothing and that's pretty much all the controls you get to remap. Finally you also get the sound effect tuning where you can use a whole list of sound course presets over here. Uh, what I like best is the sound course signature with bass up especially for these headphones and we'll talk a little bit about sound quality later on uh, or you can also go into custom and play around with the 8 band EQ uh, that Soundcore has. So tapping on the top right settings button will bring you into this page here and here you will be able 
able to set your wind noise reduction if let's say you're in an extremely windy area uh, where these headphones already do very well in cancelling out wind noise but if you're really at a very noisy place you can just turn this on and at the bottom here what's more important is that you can also update your firmware if there are any so that's pretty much all the features you get with the soundcore app so as usual soundcore has been proving time and again that they know what they're doing when it comes to anc performance and typically to the performance of anc headphones they're generally not as strong as their in-ear counterpart where you also get the absolutely good seal from the, the in-ear silicones so with the q45 you're going to get very good performance but they are not excellent nor are they cutting out 100 percent of noise so let's talk about it so with the row noise and cabin noise test i noticed that you still hear a little hum of the lower frequencies if you don't have music playing with some soft music playing you still hear them very subtly in the background and you know it's there but it does disappear if you increase the volume past 30 percent mark with the human chatter test or the mid frequency test crowd noise test with the same 30 percent volume you do hear some noise through and it doesn't absolutely cut it away and remember this is at maximum anc performance level 5. so with the wind noise test these q45 takes it like a champ and even with transparency level 5 i don't notice any wind coming through and if you ever do hear wind noise coming through just turn on wind reduction in the app and it'll go away finally transparency mode here is good and at level 5 it makes the headphones feel very open but it doesn't give you that you know superhuman ability that amplifies every noise around you uh, but just increases your surrounding volume slightly so overall i would rate the space q45 to have an anc performance of 8.8 .8 out of 10 still a very good pair of anc headphones so in terms of its sound signature i will say that these headphones are designed to be very balanced and with its standard tuning out of the box which is the sound core signature without bass up they don't emphasize on any specific frequencies and you can hear everything on the same plane where every range sounds really good based on these headphones out of the box doesn't focus on the sub bass rumble so much and gives you some, a more subtle bass tum that doesn't try to overpower other frequencies so you can tune them to give you more bass in the air but it isn't designed to give you that rumble however soundcore do give you the bass up feature which you can tune in the app and it does really boost the bass and the lower frequencies quite substantially so if you like bass definitely turn on bass up mode the mid-range here is nice with very good reproduction of vocals but it isn't the headphones most standout frequency with most music they sound good but with some songs you hear that it's a tad bit recessed however this is easily remedied with the eq tuning in the app so highs here is good and again out of the box they are not the brightest highs i've heard and i really wish that it's a little bit more stimulating without requiring much tuning but then again it's really nice to be able to tune this more to your liking using the app so this is a test to see if the soundcore space q45 is a good headphone for making phone calls so this is me speaking in a relatively quiet environment and this is the call quality that you can expect so what i'm going to do now is to turn on a simulated background noise so you can hear a difference So now there is a simulated background noise playing in the background. This is the call quality that you can expect from this headphone. So what do you think of the call quality? Let me know in the comment section down below. So in terms of gaming latency, these headphones are not the absolute fastest and you do get a slight lag when playing games like PUBG. Although you get the Bluetooth 5.3, you don't get a dedicated gaming mode to knock down the latency just like the A40 by Soundcore. So these are great with movies and videos and don't have any noticeable delay. So in conclusion, these are not really designed for competitive gaming, but if you use them casually, it's not really a problem. So let's take a look at the latency performance of these headphones. Thank <laughs> you. 
So Soundcore has been great with their ANC headphones such as the Live Q30 as well as the Live Q35. And if you use those any of those headphones, you know Soundcore means business. Going through the headphones together, I honestly don't have any issues I can point to specifically. And this is really a great offering from Soundcore. So that is it for this review. If you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video everywhere. If you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.